okay so we are practicing niridhyasana uh, in the in bhagavad gita chapter 1 so yesterday we discussed about um, the krishna was giving discourse to arjuna about you should be um, you should learn to endure pain and pleasure right instead of getting carried away by them instead of designing your life around them um, it's better to learn to endure them um, because they are anyhow impermanent and uh, if you can do that then you are ready for uh, liberation right so now we are moving forward uh, the next verse uh, that i want to take here is verse 38 uh, in chapter 2 here krishna is telling arjuna uh, uh, look arjuna treat victory and defeat gain and loss uh, pleasure and pain alike like similar and get ready for the better if you fight this way then you will not incur sin right Suk duk hani la jay parajay me sambhav ke saath yudh karo. Aisa karne se tumhye paap nahi laghi ga. Right? Aisa karne se tumhye paap nahi laghi. So you will not incur sin. Right? Okay? So, so Arjuna is currently in the, so the situation is, uh, Arjuna is not proactively planning his life. Right? He's not proactively choosing like, I want to do this, I don't want to do this. A challenge has arrived in front of him. Right? Um, nature just created a challenge for him. And at this point, Krishna is suggesting him, you should not think about like winning, losing and uh, um, gain and loss or pain and pleasure. Uh, because if you do that, if you think about these things, then you will lose the balance of your mind. Right? If you, if you think about pain and pleasure, if you think about like uh, whether I win or whether I lose, if what happens if I lose, what happens if I win, then your action will be inferior. One thing, you will not be able to give your best. right? Just think, you put yourself in the uh, situation of Arjuna or like let's say you have some exam tomorrow and if you're thinking like what happened if I fail, what happened if I pass and all these kind of things, then you're not able to focus on the study of, you're not able to focus on the task in your hand. You will be you know, spending time in that. And he's calling like you will not incur sin. That means he's, uh, he's referring these mental patterns as sin. Right? If you think about winning, losing, and, uh, and it is not even like you think about. If you let your mind, you know, go in that direction then you will end up incurring sin. Sin in the sense you will be uncomfortable, you will be discomforting and you will not be able to put your best effort anyway. Right? So you, it's like a lose-lose situation you get in yourself into. Right? Instead of that, he's saying uh, treat victory and defeat alike. Right? They're same. Just, just imagine yourself in the uh, place of Arjuna. You are standing there and you can say like, okay, if I win, it's good. If I lose, it goes, it doesn't matter to me. If, if I gain something, if I lose something, it doesn't matter to me. If I get hurt or if I get pleasure, doesn't matter to me, right? Now you, in, in that state of mind, you are able to give your best, right? In that state of mind, you are not incurring any sin. Otherwise, anything that you will do, and if you want to win, and if you have like a strong desire to not fail or not, you know, then anything you will do, your mind will become active again, right? It will get out of the balance again, right? If something happened, you will see there, but you will not see there. You will thinking about, Oh, if that happened, then I might have lose, and if I lose, then I will lose this and that. So that is a, a very inferior state of mind that Krishna is referring. In fact, he is saying this is sin, right? So you should not think about these things, and instead of that, stay balanced, right? But the nature is my, my minds are like more automatic; it goes by default in that direction. Right? So it's more like a suggestion to bring back your mind in a balanced state and see what is in front of you, right? Uh, and that way, your action will be much more superior. Yep. Okay. So the next uh, next verse is uh, this is very interesting. Uh, it's verse number forty one. Here he is saying. So he is giving the discourse on the yoga, and he is telling Arjuna that the people who follow this path, right, or any path for that sense. But let's say in this uh, uh, in this verse, he is saying people who follow this path. Um, their intellect is determined, right, and directed towards one goal and one idea. The intellect of undecided 
वंडर इन ऑल द डायरेक्शन राइट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जो इस मार्ग पर चलते हैं उनका प्रयोजन में दृढ़ है और उनका एक ही लक्ष्य होता है जो दृढ़ प्रतिज्ञ नहीं है उनकी बुद्धि अनेक शाखाओं में विभक्त है दिस इज अमेजिंग राइट वट ही सेंग इज इन ऑर्डर फॉर यूर इंटेलेक्ट टू वर्क एट इट्स बेस्ट इन ऑर्डर फॉर इंटेलेक्ट टू वर्क पावरफुली राइट इन ऑर्डर टू हैव अ पावरफुल इंटेलेक्ट यू नीड टू हैव अ स्ट्रॉन्ग डिटर्मिनेशन ऑन वन सिंगल पॉइंट राइट यू नीड टू बी एबल टू यू नीड टू हैव यू कैन से यू कैन यू नीड टू हैव अ पर्पज अ गोल और समथिंग विच यू आर स्ट्रॉन्गली डिटरमाइंड अबाउट राइट वंस यू हैव दैट दैन ऑल ऑफ योर इंटेलेक्ट इज डायरेक्टेड टूवर्ड्स दैट एंड दैट्स अ वेरी पावरफुल इंटेलेक्ट राइट and it's a, it's a satisfying intellect right it's thinking all towards in that direction on the other hand the people who doesn't have uh, any you know strong purpose or a strong uh, ideal or in this case like the liberation or whatever the krishna is telling arjuna is like ultimate purpose um, in this context but if you don't have any kind of purpose any kind of you know a clear cut what do you say goal ideal or anything anything that your intellect can you know hang upon then that intellect is very inferior right it's a very inferior intellect because it's branch out in so many different direction you feel confused you feel dissatisfied you feel uneasy you feel um, so it's more it's, it's it's very discomforting intellect also it's very inferior intellect right you will not be able to achieve anything because it's moving in so many different direction so i found this very very um, incredible advice in the sense is like have something concrete have something which you are determined about uh, in order for your intellect to you know direct it towards one thing uh, and that's what is it's also tied back to the same thing right if you like he's saying if you're thinking about if your intellect is not like directed in one thing then it will automatically going about thinking about pain and pleasure uh, victory and defeat loss and gain these kind of stuff it will automatically go in all these kind of different branches right should i do it should i not do it what should i do what should i not do uh, so many different things right on the other hand a person who has a, a goal or ideal in his life is like a uh, very strong in terms of his intellect is directed in very precise manner so that's what the, this verse is about the next one is our classic <laughs> chapter 2 verse 47 you have a right to action alone never to the fruits of that action right so don't be the don't think yourself to be the cause of that action at the same time never let your attachment to uh, be with in action right aur tumhe karma karne ka adhikar hai lekin phal ke tum adhikari nahi to tum khud ko phal ka karan bhi mat samjho aur phal na aur karm na karne mein asakti mat ho right very very interesting it's a so what he's saying is you have a complete right over your action right so arjuna have a complete right over his action he can fight he can not fight he can uh, um, run away he can do anything he wants in terms of his action his action he has complete control over but it does not matter what action how much best effort he can put right how much uh, centered he is in terms of when he is putting that effort uh, still it does not dictate like what will be the result of this battle right it 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 he's just one actor in this whole you know uh, a complex situation so in terms of his action he has complete control right he can do whatever he wants on the other hand the fruit of that action he just does not have right to it he he is not the decider of the fruit of the action right it does not matter how we put his action so He, so what krishna is suggesting is you focus on my and on your action right anyhow any fruit comes uh, do not think yourself to be the cause of that fruit right because you are not the cause of that fruit on the other hand don't get in tang don't get attached to inaction so you stop doing anything right for example if you see anybody who is uh, uh, depressed for example who is depressed for example uh, you will notice like it is almost always they are con- they are uh, thinking they they have tried something they might have failed or something like that happen and they are thinking they are the uh, the they are the reason they are the cause for that fruit of fruit of that action or that fruit in general right they are the cause of that fruit right they tried something didn't happen or maybe they have a loss or something something happened right and they are considering themselves as a cause for that fruit which is not true which is just not true and that's what uh, krishna is telling to arjuna 
see all the suggestion that he is giving um, in terms of you know having a, a clear ideal and a goal uh, or having focus on your you know action if you don't do these things automatically we are going to get into the direction which is uh, uh, going to be uh, very inferior very inferior very discomforting right if you start thinking yourself and this is very natural we do think like i am the fruit of the action right i tried something it didn't work out that means i'm a loser but it's not the truth right this is there's so many different uh, causation is going on in the equation uh, so he's saying like never think yourself that way you will feel much more at ease right that way you will not be you know judging yourself or you know uh, getting entangled in something useless right instead of keep focus keep bringing your focus back to your action and that would create a much better uh, causes for better fruit actually yeah so i think uh, uh, these were the three verses uh, we will continue this nidhyasana uh, further on chapter 2 in next video thank you